Alright, let's do a draft of Ikoria. Um, I actually really enjoyed this draft environment. Um, a lot of removal, a lot of fixing, a lot of possibilities. It was fun. I liked it a lot, actually. Uh, so right off the bat, we have a companion. Um, I want to throw in a side note. I actually liked the old companion rule of not having to pay three. Uh, I guess mainly for limited, so if I were to ever draft with friends, I would propose the idea that we stick to the old companion rule. But it's probably better that way to have to pay three. Um, and because of that, companions, they're still pretty strong. Um, I think I still want to get Umori. Um, it's just fun to build around, makes the draft experience a little more uh, a focused, I guess. Um, the split mana symbols are nice too. I mean, if it's not this, it's what forcing the draft, uh, the cycle archetype with snare tactician. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for Omori. So probably want all creatures because that's what I have to do here. Um, so black green. Or it can be black anything, or it can be green anything. Uh, and cycling is also a thing. I can grab creatures that cycle and just not like ever play it. Like, this will just be like a cantrip only. Checkpoint officer is good. It's like removal-ish for a deck that's probably going to be all creatures. Uh, it's either that or necropanther. Uh, going three colors is pretty viable, especially since there's dual lands, there's evolving wilds, mm, cavern whisperer. Uh, whisper squad. I think yeah, trick point officer. The first one's usually good. Tapping a creature, I can go Abzan, or I can just like go black white humans. Mm. Yeah, and because everything else, uh, like this is expensive, maybe if this wheels I'd pick it up, Whisper Squad is tempting, but I think it's still a checkpoint officer before any of these other cards. Uh, Triome is tempting, because it is two of our colors, potentially. Mm. Let's see, creatures, creatures. It's Squad Commando. Oh, Migratory Great Horn's good. It'll help fix, it'll help ramp. Granted that I can mutate it reliably, which I should be able to. Uh, yeah, I think I like that over Night Squad Commando or even Moscow Goryak. And Garrison Cat is not bad, but I think. Migratory Great Horn, because usually mutate, you don't. Know, it's not like you gain a card, but gaining the basic land, it kind of like effectively drawing the card. So it doesn't feel as bad if it like gets removed uh, when it gets mutated. So I guess Migratory Great Horn. We got. Honey Mammoth, Glowstone Recluse, it's not a bad blocker, uh, or even just as a bad, uh, it's an okay base for Mutate as well. Is that our Dranith Healer? Cycle, Cycling is always good. Uh, yeah, I mean 2 mana 2-2, two, two, early game but cycle it later, and the cycling trigger is not irrelevant, like sometimes they'll just be racing. Like, uh, yeah, because like, you can even just like be green-white now, and it wouldn't hurt too bad. Yeah, cycling's always good. It will be ne weary. I do need to be wary of like having creatures to mutate onto, because right now I have two humans, and this will have zero targets. 
in the vacuum. So, oh, another grand healer. Huh. Or snare tactician. Given that I have a cycling card, I think the correct pick is Drana Healer over Snare Tactician. I mean, I could be wrong, but I mean, it's the payoff or the thing that lets you get the payoff. I think I like Drana Healer more. Uh, that's tough. Like, if I get this, every other cycler I grab will be good. If I get this, but never get a payoff, then it's like, it's still okay. Alright, I'll guess Snare Tactician. Hmm. Uh, Mighty Brushwag. All Mighty Brushwag is usually a good uh, mutate target, despite kind of being silly. One mana, one, one trample. Patagia Tiger. I do have three humans right now. Mm. Five mana, three, four flying is still like average, so it's, it's okay. Uh, I don't have anything with flying right now. It might just be Patagia Tiger. Like some sort of white, green human. Oh, white, black. Humans is still open, I guess. Yeah, I think this is better over the brushwag. Hmm. Yeah, white seems pretty open. Uh, mutate, or... I mean, this card needs some work to get going. So between these two, they're... Like 4 mana, mutate into a 4-4, four, four, gain 4, or just 3 mana, 2, 4, vigilance. I like 3 mana, 2, 4, vigilance. Uh, it blocks well, and it's like, at least right now, I could play this and then mutate into this. And gaining 4 life, not super great, or not super impactful for like mutating. So, Goryak. Mysterious Egg, if I grabbed more mutators, which I currently have one. Mm, is that or this? Splashing color, excavation mole, 3 mana 3 through trample is always good. I mean, it feels bad to mill away uh, a relevant card, but you just never know what's on top of your deck, right? Like, you could just mill away three things you don't need. So, 3 mana 3 through trample. Squad Marshal puts two bodies on the board. Uh, that or the Sky Bonder. I mean, I guess the more humans I get, the better Patekia Tiger is. That Survive Saber Tooth. No, but I have no oh, one two drop two two drops. Uh, yeah, I mean. It's Essentially a 4 mana 4 4. Black, I guess. I mean, it's okay to splash a little black, so. Take black cards as I see them, I guess. Another Goryak or Garrison Cat. Uh, Garrison Cat's fine. Um, replaces itself. Yeah. <laughs> Another one, or Gloom Pangolin. I think these are better than Gloom Pangolin, so I'll just take another Garrison Cat. And just grab whatever. Alright. Voracious Great Shark is the rare. Oh, this card's actually pretty good. But. Double blue hurts. Farfinder's good. Um, especially if I end up going three colors. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I just take Farfinder. That or a Greater Sandworm, because it cycles. But, I mean, deck thinning is a thing, although usually not relevant. And just helps make sure you grab that fourth land, right? So, Farfinder. Currently have still just the one mutate, the migratory great horn. Humble naturalist seems great since I'm doing an all creature deck. Mm, yeah. Humble naturalist. Boneyard lurker. This is in our colors essentially. Because it could just be green green. And every card in my deck is a permanent. So, definitely Boneyard Lurker. And <laughs> there's another one. I mean, I guess four drop slots getting a little clogged, but more he helps. I mean, there's a chance this could wheel. And get a Lurking Deadeye, just for some form of interaction. Second Boneyard Lurker is hard to pass. Uh, I mean, this is probably correct. Yeah, Lurking Dead Eye. Alright, probably just Honey Mammoth. Get some bigger things on my curve. Although it hurt to pass that Fire Prophecy. <laughs> That's a fun one. Uh, if I end up splashing a little blue, which I probably won't, but that is the only creature. Oh, main servo. Yeah, solid two drop. Solid mutate target. Bushwag. Goyak. Green, blue, red. No. Helica Glider. That is. There is. Good argument to Helic Glider. Because 3 man 2 2 flying is not bad. First strike is okay, but like if I mutate this two on it, it's like a 4 4 flyer or 3 4 flyer, like 3 this into this, this into this. It's okay. <clears throat> or is Vigilance better? I mean, I, I guess I need some form of reach, right? And just sometimes just having a flying creature is good enough. And there's another Koryak anyway. Flycatcher Fertilid. <laughs> if I just drop the Umori plan. I guess I draw a passed up on some good removal. So we're all in on the Umori plan. Let's just do it. I catch a fertilid to fill in the curve because one five drop. Yeah. Another checkpoint officer. I mean, the second one usually isn't that great because if you're just spending your turn tapping a creature, it doesn't feel that great. I mean, I don't think I need the third garrison cat though. Checkpoint officer. None of these cards I would be able to play, so just take something away from someone else uh, for the cycle deck. Supply mm -hmm. saber tooth because it's a creature. There's the boneyard lurker. Uh, yeah, take that away from the cycle deck. Ooh, Fiend Artisan. I mean, I guess it's just Fiend Artisan, right? Because if not, you're just sacking creatures just to tutor them out. I mean, people will just be scared of this card. They don't know what's in your deck. It's that or Crater Sandworm. Lurking Dead Eye. Yeah, Fiend Artisan. 
Essence Symbiote. Yeah, I have a few mutates, so... Yep, it's a good two drop. This is tempting. Just like, only plate as a five drop. Puts two bodies on the board. Or Fertilid. Or Helica Glider. I mean, Fertilid seems slow. Hmm. Splashing blue for some reason now. No, I don't think I would be. Uh, Fertilid seems correct. But. Yeah, because mutating onto Fertilid seems okay, right? If I put Boneyard Lurker on it, it's a 6 6. Like this, this is probably just too ambitious. So Fertilid, Snare Tactician, Majestic Oricorn, uh, just for another mutate spell maybe. Lifelink? Oh, Lifelink's good. Cause I'm still a little black, right? Not really. Or I guess, yeah, a little bit. Splashing Black is still possible. It's that or Snare Tactician, which I have still just the two Dranith healers to cycle. So, seems okay. It helps break board stalls. There's another Migratory Great Horn. Jungle Hollow, there's good argument for that. It's just, in terms of fixing, I have one of these and the Fertilid. Hmm. I think Jungle Hollow is correct, though. Yeah. Because I, I have a bunch of four drops right now. Jungle Hollow. <laughs> There's another Duskfang Mentor. Yeah, I think that's better than the Giraffe. Uh, another jungle hollow. I mean, with two, I basically don't need to play any swamps. Or like one swamp, two jungle hollows. It's like the fourth classification. This is truly a draft simulation. Goyak or mysterious egg. Uh, I mean, I think we don't have that many mutates, so Goyak. Mm, oh, it's either Lurking Dead Eye or another Patekia Tiger. In terms of five drops, I have the Giraffid, the other Patekia Tiger. Hmm. Yeah, Patega Tiger. Perimeter Sergeant. Probably. I guess this would be another 5 drop if I don't want to play the Giraffe. It. That or Helica Glider. I think I have a bunch of these 3 drops though. So, Trumpeting Gnar. <laughs> Uh, yeah, these are just whatever picks now. Alright. Let's see how I would build this deck. So... Oh yeah, I guess it's just 23 creatures, right? 23 and Umori. So, one, two... So definitely want ways to cycle. Mm. Oh, I ended up only with one Dranum Healer. Okay. So probably don't want Snare Tactician in there anymore. The Glider. The Tigers. Uh, the Interaction. Where are we at? 
18. I do have a Thornwood Falls randomly. So. I don't think that's worth it to splash blue, though. Oh yeah, Fiend Artisan. So this is basically a 5 drop, so we need more 3 and 4s. So in terms of needing black mana, we're at 1. So we need, usually you do like Devotion plus one for up to three cards, so I need four black sources, and that's reasonable. Mm. Just another four drop, I guess, Day Squad Marshal, or, oh, I think three drops are fine, just need bigger things. I guess I should have grabbed that greater sandworm, because now it's just like uh, past a certain point, I'm, my deck's not even that strong, right? Like if they play their own 6-6, six, six, what am I doing? <laughs> Hoping to lurking deadeye it, or just Duskfang mentor it up. Yeah, this draft wasn't that great, but live and learn, right? do that, and then Umori as the companion. Yep, yeah, that's the deck. The pitfall of just committing to Umori. Because I passed like Deadway, passed a couple fire prophecies. But I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs>